What is up, guys? As you guys know, I've been in Indiana for the last week and a half or so, which means I haven't really had time to film a video. Today's really the first day I've been able to get out. You know, we finished up working at like 3 o'clock today, so we got out today, and I fly out tomorrow, so here's just a few things that I caught along the way. Today is the last day on location, so hopefully today we'll be able to uh, get out of here with some time. Supposedly we finish today at about 2 o'clock. What that means is after we spend about, I don't know, maybe two hours after that, cleaning up, getting things ready to go, and we should be out of here around 4, which... When I looked yesterday, the sun didn't go down till about, I don't know, maybe 6.37. So, that'll work out, hopefully. Maybe be able to explore for a little bit, capture some stuff for you guys. But, uh, yeah, just walking into work here. That's where I'm working. This? What I see. An arcade and a mini golf. Peter, I'm calling you out. You're you live local. <laughs> Alright. So since I walked all the way over here without my phone because it was dead, I'm gonna go back, grab my phone, tag you on Facebook. You better meet me over here. Found the way out. <clears throat> Alright, Peter. I know you live like a mile from the stadium. Can't be more than a half a mile from the stadium here. I know because I'm using it as a visual reference because I left my phone at the hotel because it's dead. So, when I get back to the hotel, I'm hitting you up. You better be ready to play golf because I want to hang out with you and I gotta make some people jealous that we hung out. So. I've been down, I've been everywhere, but I'm alright now, I'm alright. I nearly drown in my own despair, but I'm alright. been here almost two weeks so time to do laundry one of the cool things about this place though free laundry all right so I'm at the airport early so I'm gonna try something I've never tried some of you guys are going to be like, how have you never tried this? There's a Chick-fil-A here. I'm going to get it for the first time. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> little pro tip for you guys. Start getting ready before the security gate. Hands are oily from that... Uh,
back in LA now. Uh, didn't get as much footage as I would have hoped for out there. I was looking through it all now that I'm back and I got enough to make a video, but I didn't really go exploring too much or anything like that. One thing I noticed though is uh, this is kind of my first trip really with the whole vlogging setup and you know I'm new to vlogging so you know I still have to get past that past that uh, mental barrier stopping me from recording 24 7 or anything like that but one thing I've learned on this trip is that people are actually nowadays very receptive to this you know I haven't had anyone really give me any weird looks more people would actually just comment on my rig a lot of people like my setup so you know bringing this out in public I've had more people comment on my setup that gets cool than actually you know question me about what I'm doing or you know why I'm recording out in front of their place or things like that and it's kind of cool I mean try this five years ago that probably wasn't the case <clears throat> that being said I want to give a couple shout outs to people I met along the way you know I met some cool people out in Indianapolis who were pretty receptive to it like my setup uh, I did meet a couple of uh, cool people in Chicago one of them worked for American Airlines and uh, he kind of is starting his own thing he does a lot of hiking and things like that he has gear on helmets and such <clears throat> and then uh, this other couple I met in Chicago while waiting for my plane was uh, I don't know if they want real names shared, but Il Nani is uh, her YouTube. She's starting her own YouTube right now. And uh, the guy that was with her is uh, Byron. And they were cool. Uh, they were interested in my setup and looking at it and trying to get you know a good feel for it. So I linked, you know, I gave them the link to my website with all the information on it. So. <clears throat> it's kind of cool, you know, even though I'm a nobody in YouTube, that just having this setup kind of brings forward conversation from people that, you know, you wouldn't otherwise get, you know, people look at this rig and they look at it and they think, wow, that's, you know, that's cool. Even if I don't get much, you know, even if I don't get much views on YouTube or anything like that, you know, it's still a cool setup and the the thought of going out there with it and filming my experiences is pretty cool you know it's more for personal than it is for uh, getting the views and that's kind of cool so anyways like I said I'm back here in LA so uh, hopefully more videos to come and uh, links in the description like subscribe check out uh, my website I have links to everything I run all my gear uh, this setup isn't yet listed, I'm going to do that this weekend, but my helmet setup is fully listed there, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I have, like I said, I have links to everything, so catch you guys later, and uh, see you on the next one.